Today is the day we've been dreading. Pressure makes diamonds or enormous flooding. We've had both. <laughs> we've done this before, but with very bad results. The nerve wracking excitement of plumbing. And our confidence is pretty shaken. To be honest, I just don't know what I'm doing. That was not reassuring. But now there's nothing left to do. We're open, but to do it. Here goes nothing. Grayson? Yeah. Are you gonna give them back to Grayson? No, I don't care. Oh, <laughs> okay. It's okay. Cheese. What's up guys and good morning. We in the last video finally finished doing all of the water supply, all of our plumbing drain is completely installed, which means today we're ready to test it. We got all the lines connected, I got 10 valves and a big spaghetti mess of pipes downstairs. But I do have the ability now to shut off the recirculating line that's going through the house right now and separate it into a loop that goes all the way through the addition and comes back to the water heater for the hot line and then the coal obviously just runs out into the addition. Once I open up those valves, we just need to be in the addition and go and check and make sure that there's no leaks. And then we're gonna be able to hook a hose up to the drain line fill the drain system, make sure the drain system has no leaks, and as long as both of those things are good and there's no leaks, we can move on to electrical. But we have never had a drain system that we filled with water that didn't have at least one leak. Very nerve wracking day today. We've got an impersonator. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I don't know if you guys remember some of our previous drain testing catastrophes. We have had leaks every single time, some flooding, some major flooding. Every single time has been a nail biter, very stressful, very chaotic. And I'm just hoping that today goes a little bit more smoothly. Whoop. We have a few more years of experience under our belt now. So hopefully, um, I don't know, I guess we're about to find out. But when these types of things go wrong, they go very, very wrong. And that's all I'm trying to avoid today. Hello! Ah. Through the portal. Through the portal. Before I go flip those, I'm gonna go down right now, but before I get down there and do it, just go make sure all those valves are closed. The ones that are pointing down in the crawl space. Okay. And then uh, I'm gonna turn on all the valves and... You're gonna yell to someone in the crawl space who will yell up? Is that the right I guess so. messaging system? Yeah, just in about 30 seconds, the valves will be turned on. <laughs> Scary. All right. Communication is key, okay? If you hear people yelling, turn things off. Okay. Okay. Uh, going down here into the basement. There's insulation pieces everywhere. We're gonna have to vacuum and stuff down here because I had to get into the insulation so that I could get in here and splice these lines together and put all the valves in. And now, uh, eh, we're ready to go. Grayson is heading down into the crawl space. Brandon and I are gonna walk around, look for leaks. Hopefully, uh, no leakers. No leaks. <laughs> no leakers. <laughs> no leakers. Only one leaker in this house. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Valves are all closed. We're ready to go. All right. All right. Well, here goes nothing. <laughs> Is it leaking? Oh, you said valves are open. I was like, what? We're open. This little drip right here. Drip. I think we have a bad ball valve. That won't stop us from testing right now, but 
we're gonna need a new ball valve and then I don't know if I even have enough pipe on there to cut that off and fix it or replace it I might have to redo this whole T and everything <sighs> it's not one thing it's another you know I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn on the hot now They are making a lot of noise. All right, well, other than that ball valve having that little drip of a leak, I think we're in business. I'm gonna uh, head out there and see if we can get the drain system tested. The good news so far, there's air in the lines. We haven't fully like pressure tested everything with water yet, but the good news is so far, I don't, I don't, I don't hear any. I don't hear anything. What you're looking for is that bleep, bleep, bleep. It's pretty quiet. Is it warm? Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's a hand warmer right yeah, there. Really. That feels wonderful. The hot water is working. I'm just gonna stay right here. All right. So we have a recirculatory or recirculating system in here, but the problem is all the air that's stuck in that system, if the recirculating line just starts recirculating, it's just gonna put all that air into the water heater. And then it's just gonna be in the system and it's gonna come out all the faucets and stuff. So we're gonna have some finicky faucets in the house for a while till all that air comes out. But we're uh, seeming pretty good. You guys didn't find any leaks? So far so good. Let's start filling up the drain system and see if there's any leaks there. Okay, so, so far, water lines looking really good. Now it's on to the drain system, which are all the fittings that these guys glued together, and that's where we've had major problems in the past. This part could be interesting. Got water pressure. <laughs> Hopefully we don't regret filling this with water in the middle of the winter with no heat. Yeah. <laughs> At least I can shut off all the valves so that if something does freeze and break, it won't, we won't like come out to a swimming pool. Yeah, that's good. All right, so I'm connecting our old trusty rusty hose here to our ball valve filler doohickey. Which is also connected to our toilet water supply. Toilet water supply, that's exactly what this is. And now this ball valve here should have all of the pressure and cold water from the house. Mm -hmm. As soon as I flip this valve, water should come through there, start filling the drain system. Brandon is all the way down in the crawl space, making sure that the test plug is aired up down there so that the water is going to stay in the system and not drain through the system. Good. And uh, I think everything else is capped. So what you're saying is this is the real moment of truth. This is the real moment of truth. You guys ready? I think so. Is it 35? Yeah. All right. Here goes nothing. Feels like we got a bit of pressure. A lot of pressure. <laughs> You know what they say? Pressure makes diamonds or enormous flooding. We've had both. <laughs> All right, it's always fun because you can hear the water draining down. So right now you can hear the water running down here, through there, and going down. And all I'm thinking is that's really loud. I hope it's not that loud once we get insulation and drywall on here because that would be really annoying to be in this bedroom and every time there's a sink turned on in the master bathroom, you hear this. But you know that the level is not above right here because you can hear the water rushing down and pretty soon it'll just start to get quiet. Yeah. And that's how you know. Back right there? Back right. It's happening. No leaks down there? Oh, yeah. oh, this is one of the spots I'm concerned about. So over here in the corner, we have uh, 
couple fittings that were questionably installed. We did our best, but they could very well leak. So we got to get this thing filled all the way up to the roof. So it's coming out of the, uh, whatever those things are called, out of the vents. And once we know it's coming out of those vents, we shut the water off and then we'll wait with the system full of water, go and check basically every fitting, every joint, make sure nothing's leaking. And then we'll be good to go. And hopefully there's no leaks. It's making some really weird noises right there. And then the noise is completely stopped, which normally means the water is probably at least to this point right here. Now it's going up. From that point up, there's just basically four two inch lines that have to be filled up. And this vent line right here is gonna be the first spot that water comes out. So Allie's filming out the window over there and she's gonna let us know as soon as water starts coming out of that vent. Come on, water. How's it look down there? Looks pretty good. I haven't, haven't seen any leakaging yet. The nerve wracking excitement of plumbing. And our plug right here is holding. That's the same. We got water. We got water. All right, I'm gonna shut this off. Coming out the vents, yeah. Water in the right spot. All right, well, now we check for leaks. The crawl space is all good. All right. Doing a wetness check. Good. Maybe it's an outside joke. Yeah, better be outside. Did you hear that? <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> All right, now that we're down here in the dungeon, or the bottom attic, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> and uh, we've checked everywhere to make sure that nowhere is leaking, even though some of the fittings look like they might be wet, they're not, which is a huge milestone. Wow, yeah, you're right. First time we've done a drain system and there's been no leaks. Wow. We did have to redo this section so that the pipes could be up high instead of down low like we originally had them, so technically it was a second go, but... <laughs> No leaks. Now this is my favorite part. There's a balloon inside of here that's attached to this thing. And when you pump it up, that balloon fills this whole section. And then when you let the air out right here, as the balloon deflates, all the water from the entire system just comes draining down all fast and it's fun. Here we go. Don't cut yourself. Don't cut yourself. It's dripping, just that fitting. Mm -hmm. Why are you making that noise? Yeah. I have no idea. Those drips are okay. Those drips are okay. Oh boy. Yeah, we have a bucket under. <laughs> yeah. Was it frozen? It's just kind of like big and bulbous. Mm. Normally it like shrinks down. Yeah more. I think it's just because we aired it up like a week or two weeks ago and the rubber's cold. Mm -hmm. So like letting the air out, it didn't like shrink back and like let all the water rush out. Okay. But it did seal. Good. And uh, that's all that matters. The water's all drained out now. Cool. Yeah. First time ever. Good job. Good job. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's very exciting. Yeah. Rough plumbing is done. Wow. Rough plumbing and almost framing is ready for four-way. We have a couple little uh, things we've got to do to continue to finish our framing and stuff, but we're getting really close. Now, I think we need to take inventory of everything that we need to do our electrical panel. We're going to do a sub panel here under the stairs and all of our electrical boxes and wire and all that stuff. And then I think we're heading to Home Depot.
to pick up all of our materials. Dang! Good job! That's awesome! Woo! Lika, what are you doing? Where's Lika? She's over there. You're cute! <laughs> You're gonna ride your bike? Hi, Lika. Like that Frank is just an <laughs> obstacle for the bike to go around. Lika, he was going around and Lika was following him. Oh, cute. <laughs> Have you ever wondered why you keep getting phone calls of people trying to sell you things or qualify you for a loan program or refinance your house or just something crazy and completely irrelevant? I know I get these phone calls all the time and it drives me crazy. And that's why I love Delete Me. And Delete Me is the sponsor of today's video. In this digital age, data is more valuable than gold. And data brokers exist to collect your information and sell it to people like advertisers who are gonna call you and use your information to market products to you. And that's why Delete Me is your absolute best line of defense. They are a hands-free subscription service that allows you to remove all of your personal information being sold online easily. All you have to do is sign up and create an account, and then within seven days, you'll get a detailed report of all of your personal information that's being collected online. So you can see exactly what the experts at Delete Me are doing. You will be amazed at how much of your information is being sold online. And with Delete Me, it doesn't have to be. It's easy to use, it's not expensive, and we highly recommend it. Right now, they're offering you a great deal as well. If you click our link in the description below, you'll get 20% off all consumer plans with code Trent and Allie. They're amazing, and I know you will be blown away by their services. Thanks again to Delete Me for sponsoring today's video. Now we are gonna get back to work. Yeah, like a platform. This, yeah, this will have a floor. Okay. And then the floor will lift up, and you'll be able to walk down. So where are you thinking? I think well, I'm gonna try and put the sub panel here. Okay. I don't know if it's gonna pass code or not, but Why? we're gonna install it, and then we'll find out. <laughs> I don't know. There might be like some weird <gasps> rule. <I don't> know. <laughs> a single gain. That one single gain. I get some long ones too, so we can go through like these mm -hmm. king studs and stuff. Uh, More tools, huh? Oh yeah, always. If you're gonna do work, you gotta have tools. <laughs> All we need is one overhead light and then a fan. What is wrong with you? <laughs> what are you thinking? <laughs> Tell me. One light? One light switch. Obviously multiple light receptacles. But all on one. You don't want to have like sconces or anything in here? I think lamps and floor lamps. End table lamps, dresser lamps, nightstand lamps, floor you lamps. You don't want any fancy sconces? No. Do you? It like limits where you put furniture and like the way you lay out the furniture. And I want to be able to move the bed around if we don't like it here, we can put it here. Sons of worries, travel with the storm. But I must try to feel it out alone. What'd you say? Said you're gonna mount a TV up there on that that cat house. You know how I feel about TVs in the bedroom. We are not gonna reopen that can of worms. Great spot though. <laughs> Brandon? <laughs> Inventory taken. We are loading up, heading over to Home Depot. I can't believe how fast this went. And we're gonna get started with electrical. Plumbing is done. What are you doing? I gotta go there. Oh. I go there. You're gonna go there? Hey, Leo, what's in your dump truck? Rocks. Rocks.
beast there. Gotta be careful of that beast. Who are you? This is where it would have paid to go to electrician school. <laughs> yeah. Just kind of guessing here. To be honest, I just don't know what I'm doing. That is not reassuring. I mean, I know enough to know what I'm doing to make sure that it's safe. Yeah. I just don't know if what you're doing is going to trip a breaker. If what I'm doing will be we'll have to enough. switch out a breaker, you know. Which is not the worst thing in the world. No. Better than burning down the house. It's a good song. Burning down the house. <laughs> I was going to sing it, but then I realized I don't know any of the words. <laughs> My parents met at a party, I at a friend's mean, party, yeah. to the song "Burning Down the House." So that's like a running oh, joke God, in our God. family. Except Trent obviously needs to learn the words to it. <laughs> Oh no. Caution, sharp edges. Yeah, be careful. Oh boy, that's heavy. Uh, this is uh, not recommended technique. No, this is not. Five feet in my book. Recommended at all. Oh, God. Be Roni. It's all that yoga you've been doing. <laughs> I'm not a yoga guy. <laughs> Well, while we're out here and it's a beautiful day, we've got everything we need to start the electrical, but we built this, the guys built this stair, uh, I think yesterday, and uh, hasn't been installed yet, but is going to make a huge difference for coming in and out of this garage from the man door, especially carrying Leo or groceries. All right, let's see how she fits. No bueno. This block's too long. Not many tools that could fix this problem. Look at you. Lumber Trent. Lumber Trent. Meant to be. That's beautiful. There you go. Won't pass code. It's not pretty. It's not even gonna last very long, but there's a stair there now. <laughs> I'll take whatever I can get. I think it looks amazing. Thank you. That's why you're my favorite. <laughs> Now that that step is installed, we can get started. All right, here's our panel. Technically it is a main panel, but we're using it as a sub panel. I can't even pick it up. Wow, it's big. She's heavy. Big bet. It's, uh, it's for outside. Okay. Oh. I should have thought about that. Failure. All right, we realized we got the wrong panel. I'm gonna have to look online and get a panel that's not for outside. This panel has like a cap on top and the door swings open. It doesn't have like a face mount that like mounts on top of drywall. So hmm. I should have known better, but I didn't. So we'll return that. I'll get a different panel. I think, uh, the easiest thing we can start doing right now is just setting outlet boxes. So fun. We're gonna start doing that. This is super fun because this is kind of where we get to start deciding layout, maybe just a little bit of like furniture design. I feel like it's all the fun part for you. It is all the fun part for me, that's true. You guys do the hard part, I just do the hard part. Just hitting chin. That's gonna be Oh my Damn, gosh. The freaking <laughs> terrifying. Shouldn't have hit the hand. Oh, that's scary. Oh my gosh, that scared me. All of the snow just sloughed off of that roof, but it was only probably like a foot. 
It's just a little thing fell Whew, off. But I felt it in the floor. Everything shook. That was terrifying. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Cool. A blender. <laughs> I love a good stairwell blender. <laughs> you better add a couple outlets up there. <laughs> For blenders. <laughs> People are literally going to be like, how come every light switch in your house is a different height? Do people notice stuff like that? No, only Trent. Only Trent, right? I would <laughs> never <laughs> notice no that. No one's going to walk in here and look at the stuff we did wrong. <laughs> I promise. Well, Trent will. I will. Trent is the only one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the upstairs level fully complete. Stairwell done. Uh, I think this, what is this level called? The bedroom level also done, right? We got everything in here. Moving on to the living room. Thanks. Cold down here. Yes, freezing in this room. That's so nice up there. It's absolutely freezing in there. It's also the end of the day, so I think we might just save that room for a different day. We are actually <sighs> haven't really talked about it much. We're actually packing things up and leaving tomorrow um, to go back to the East Coast for a big funeral for my mom with all of our family and friends, neighbors people I've grown up with. We're gonna be staying at the childhood home where I grew up and spent my first 20 years almost of my life. Um, I'm nervous. I'm nervous to see all those people. I'm nervous to be in that house. I'm nervous that I finally feel a sense of control over the way things have been going the past couple weeks. Um, and that, that's all gonna get wiped away as soon as I go back there. So it'll be good, I'm sure, but it's gonna be hard. So we have some laundry and some packing and some stuff to do for the rest of the afternoon. Some friends are actually coming over to say hello as well. So let's just do the rest of the electrical on a different day. <laughs> Well, look who it is! Oh my gosh. Look. In the flesh, Mountain Modern Adventures. Mountain Modern Adventures. Mountain Modern Adventures. <laughs> you guys! Let me tell you, it was an adventure Frank, getting up yeah. here. Was it? <laughs> yes, there was one section. Oh, I was like, oh you. no, <laughs> I'm scared. It's so good, good to, see to see you. Thanks for coming. <laughs> who is it? Every time we go somewhere, yeah. she like, she like takes over, like it's her like she owns the place, you know? It's like well, she's a princess, right? You, yeah. This is Princess Leia. Yeah. I love but it. But everywhere we go, oh, that's she's, cute. Like, she's like, no, this is this is my house too. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if we've ever introduced you guys to Mountain Modern Adventures. No. But these, are our, uh, these are our friends, Claude and Wendy. And they're actually just started breaking ground, building the most incredible house I've ever seen in my life. And I'm documenting. So excited. And documenting. Yeah. And they, really we're inspired yeah. by your documentation. Yeah. Oh, really? It's <laughs> <other> true. <laughs> we're like, well, you know, I don't know. It would be nice if people could see the process. Yeah. And like we're build, you know, owner builder. Mm -hmm. So we really kind of wanted to show people like you could really do it yourself. Yeah. And it's not like we have any experience, you know, but who does, right? We don't. Yeah. And <laughs> I, you can tell. Uh, you, you have can way tell more than we, we do. So. <laughs> yeah. So if you guys are interested in checking them out, the reason I'm calling them Mountain Modern Adventures is because that's the name of their YouTube channel where they're documenting the build of their house. So if you guys want to check them out, we'll put a link in the description. You guys can go over to their channel and watch their videos. <laughs> also, <laughs> yeah, don't expect the, uh, the uh, quality of video. <laughs> well, no, I mean, everybody has to start somewhere. And yeah. so what I love about your videos is that you're still figuring out your style. Yeah. And and that's exactly where we were a few years ago. That's a really fun part of the YouTube phase. And they have a great sense of humor. Yeah. So you're definitely gonna laugh. Yeah. They, they... Now we don't take ourselves too seriously. So. <laughs> we're just regular people. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, guys, we've been down here hanging out with Claude and Wendy. If you guys want to go check out their channel, you guys definitely should because they are super fun to watch. They are, and they're just such good people, and they brought us a bunch of food. No. I just love them. Thank you guys if you're watching this. Yeah, thanks for taking care of us. Yeah. But we got a lot done today. We're starting electrical. The plumbing is done. Our drain system didn't that's, leak. That's probably the biggest you know, thing to know is yeah. that we built a drain system and a plumbing system that didn't leak except for one stupid ball valve that was defective. It's brand new. I installed it, it's leaking, yeah. it's defective. So It's not your fault. It's not my fault. <laughs> I couldn't have done it any better or any worse. <laughs> but we don't have any leaks other than that one ball valve. And our dog. And we do have a leak. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I think this is where we're going to let you guys go. If you enjoyed coming along on today's adventure, make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thank you, guys. We love you. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.